Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr Nick. Order of Operations, Multiplication, Division and Grouping with Practice Examples. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. In this video I'm going to explain some more about Order of Operations. This video follows on from Order of Operations, Addition, Subtraction and Grouping. In that video we explained that addition and subtraction are performed from left to right and that you simplify expressions inside grouping symbols such as parentheses first. Multiplication and division are also performed from left to right and they happen after the grouping and before the addition and subtraction. In this video we will concentrate on multiplication and division. In the next video we will put addition, subtraction, multiplication and division together. Check in the description below for links to other videos and resources. We will start with multiplication on its own. 2 times 5 times 3 times 4. We multiply from left to right. 2 times 5 equals 10, 10 times 3 equals 30, 30 times 4 equals 120. To show our working we can write it like this. 2 times 5 times 3 times 4 equals 10 times 3 times 4 which equals 30 times 4 which equals 120. This is a good habit to get into for when the expression gets complicated. Each line shows one step in the process. And how about division? Division is a bit trickier as there are several different ways we write division. When we first learn about division we use the division symbol, the obelisk or that can be replaced with a forward slash, or with a horizontal line called a vinculum. But wait a minute, I hear you say, that's a fraction. And yes it is, 12 divided by 3 is equivalent to 12 thirds, which is 4. These expressions are all equivalent. Here is an example of division. 120 divided by 10 divided by 6 equals 12 divided by 6, which equals 2. Division can get trickier but we will leave it here for now. And now an example of multiplication and division left to right. 20 divided by 5 times 3 equals 4 times 3 which equals 12. Here are two practice examples for multiplication and division. You try them first. 6 times 2 divided by 3 times 5. 80 divided by 2 divided by 10 times 7. I hope you try them. 6 times 2 divided by 3 times 5 equals 12 divided by 3 times 5 equals 4 times 5 which equals 20. 80 divided by 2 divided by 10 times 7 equals 40 divided by 10 times 7 which equals 4 times 7 which equals 28. Grouping. Just as we did with addition and subtraction, we can change the order in which things are calculated by using parentheses or brackets. The division line or vinculum also acts as a grouping mechanism. In this example, we would perform the 10 times 8 and the 5 times 4 before proceeding. The 10 times 8 becomes 80 and the 5 times 4 becomes 20, so we have 80 divided by 20 times 9, which is 4 times 9, which equals 36. Here are some practice examples using multiplication, division and grouping. Do pause the video and work through them yourself. And here are the answers. First, we multiply the 2 and the 7 as they are grouped under the division line. This makes 5 times 28 over 14. You can simplify 28 over 14, which is also 28 divided by 14, to 2. Then 5 times 2 equals 10. Alternatively, you can find 5 times 28, which is 140, then divide by 14 to give 10. The answer to the next exercise is 4. You can see that first we multiply the 9 times the 10, then divide by 3, multiply by 2, then divide by 15. Modern calculators will use order of operations when calculating, so entering the expression as it is written will give you the correct answer. However, you need to be careful how you input your expression and put in implied brackets. For example, 10 times 8 divided by 5 times 4 is 80 divided by 20, which equals 4. For one-line calculators and spreadsheets, you will need to put in the brackets as brackets 10 times 8 divided by brackets 5 times 4. 
This is one of several videos about order of operations. Check in the description below for links to other videos and resources. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible.